Testing one, two. Check, check. How about now? <laughs> All right. Am I on the internet? We see you. Can you hear me? I'm a professional streamer. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can't you tell? All right. Good, good, good. Welcome, everybody. I, I like how uh, there were 12 people, and then my face popped on the screen, and then there were five. Just, I mean, <laughs> there's no hope. <laughs> oh, man. Good morning. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is, uh, it is not Wednesday. It is Monday. I was about to say it's Wednesday. It's stream day. It's not. It's Monday. We I usually stream on Wednesday, uh, but it's Monday morning. Welcome. My name is Kurt. I'm a comic book colorist. Uh, you are you're on my YouTube channel. Um, today we are doing, uh, and when I say we, I mean me. I am coloring this cover from uh, the Nasty, which I love the name. I love the name of this book uh, very very much, and uh, it's by uh, Adam Cahoon. And uh, I asked him, I was like, people are going to ask me, what is this book about? And so uh, it's a horror comedy. Uh, it's like Empire Records, but for horror movies. In this love letter to horror films, a group of friends make their own slasher film and then realize they brought a slasher to life. There's your, there's your elevator pitch. Uh, you're going to be doing interiors? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just doing the cover. So... There we are. How is everybody? What's going on? How's life? So, I'm live streaming myself doing the nasty. That is correct. Yeah, the uh, the only fans that comes later. That's the special. That's the special after after show. Uh, I, I was just waiting, Chris. I'm waiting like the whole. I was like, well, how long is it going to take for Chris to make this pun? Uh, it turns out two minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but first, first thing I want to do, I'm actually going to, uh, I don't, uh, I, I probably don't do this often enough. Uh, I'm going to, uh, just kind of show you guys around this because I, I love this cover, uh, very, very much. And it's very, very, uh, well done. There's so much like amazing texture. I mean, there's so much, there's texture and, uh, uh, so much hatching so many marks but uh it's, it's just a gorgeous cover uh i really like it a lot uh and uh yeah so i'm excited about uh bringing some color into this also importantly <laughs> there on there you got to have your your hidden stickers in your book so um anyway The only fan in this stream is Kurt's air conditioner. Hey, oh, comedy comedians. Thank you. All right. Must have taken a long time to draw. Probably. I don't know if Adam's watching, but if he is, we'll have to ask him. He said he might watch. So we'll see. All right. So uh, first thing I'm going to do uh let's explain what's going on here with the layers because if i don't people will ask uh so um uh, the, the, there's the title uh which is uh, separately which i'm going to keep that toggled off and uh hold on let's see let's turn that off yeah and the inks right now are on a multiply layer i'm actually going to put these on a normal layer and put them on a uh, make the layer transparent. So uh, right now everything's all on that layer. So I'm just going to click the uh, convert brightness to opacity, which will put uh, all the inks on a transparent layer. Uh, Kurt, you can just set it to multiply. You don't have to do this every time. Well, if you want to put a clipping mask on your inks, uh, yes, you do. So um, that's how I do that uh we've got our base colors which i'm gonna set to a very like neutral color for now until i figure out what we're doing 
and then uh, we got our flats. There's lots of all of these posters are separated. God love my flatter. Uh, and all a lot of some of these posters are based on real posters, and so that'll be, be fine. We'll look at some reference and figure that out. Uh, I'm going to set the flats as a reference layer so that whenever I've set my wand tool to select selection for referred layers, which is honestly like bad grammar, I think uh, it should be selection uh, from referred layer. But um, anyway, that's that. And then uh, these layers uh, are usually for selections. My flatter does them, but we don't really need them. And uh, oh, there's all Adam's original layers, a bunch of air layers in there. I don't know if I'll need them, but probably won't. All right. Everybody caught up? <laughs> Everybody get the guess what's going on now. All right. So my my uh, my theory on this one is, uh, and I, I spoke to Adam about this, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The shop here for all for all these uh, 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 movie posters and everything, I, I want to do with a lot of local color. Like it'll because I think um, in order to make this monster feel really really out of place, <laughs> uh, which he kind of does. Uh, I mean it, for 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 story reasons, uh, then then keeping the shop looking uh, kind of normal uh, will make him look even more uh, intimidating. You know. Or more, uh, more whatever uh, I'm trying to say here. And let me check my. I'm gonna check some notes real quick. I want to see how many of these posters I actually need to worry about. There's. Uh, he did. He was kind enough to to uh, show me his reference and actually mark uh, which ones are based on actual posters Aramis what is it buddy what's the matter dude sorry my cat's going crazy you guys hear that <laughs> did that come through yeah apparently so hey Jason how's it going all right why does it keep doing that? Sorry, my reference keeps doing weird things. There we go. So, I think, so this guy, uh, this monster guy, uh, slasher guy, is... What is he wearing? He wears like a like a deep green. He's got red eyes and like a glowing yellow thing on his forehead. So sometimes I think it's best to uh, start with what you know. So that's what I'm going to start with, uh, and then we'll, I'll build around this. But uh, we're going to start with. Uh, with with this stuff, I think that is not the same thing. That is not the same thing. Oh, well, actually, that is the same thing. <laughs> oh, that changed all the Kai eyes red. Wait a second, <laughs> including the ones in the posters and that guy. Let's just do those. Thank you. And we don't need that. And there's right around there. And uh, there is some, uh, again, with the texture on this, even though this texture is not like solid, it still contributes heavily to the value of the color, you know? And so you, uh, if you have a cover like this, or you're ever getting art like this, you might uh, need to compensate uh, for that by uh, making the color actually lighter. Um, than you might think it should be. Because, actually, you can see this here pretty well. See how much darker uh, the top head is than this one? So the underlying colors are the same. So don't forget to factor that in, because 
your brain's gonna look at that base color and look at those dark pixels on there and just blend them and make a darker color. I, I gotta go check on my cat real, real quick. I'm sorry, he's acting very strangely. Aramis, what is this? Tell me what's wrong. Yeah? Tell me what's wrong. Okay. You don't want to get picked up. <laughs> you all talk to your cats like a normal person, right? Yeah. It's all cool until they start talking back. <laughs> Which ours do. Anyway, what on earth was I doing? Uh, Coloring this guy. But, uh, so my, my logic here for doing it this way is if I know, uh, let me get my color wheel in here. I can't do a stream without a color wheel to make points. And I'm going to go ahead and change these flat colors so they're not the same as those other colors there we go but yeah once you've got your um uh, let me fail hold on one second air my cat air is he's literally just bouncing off the walls right now i, I don't know what I don't know what his deal is. But um, this is, I don't know, I think this is good advice, just generally speaking. But people have asked me why I start, or why I have started uh, starting from a single color like this, as opposed to just going to the flats layer and changing things. Well, if we're looking at these flats, now these flats have nothing to do with the creative coloring process. They're literally just there to, uh, you know, separate everything. So if I'm trying to measure contrast between what's on my canvas and the color that I'm choosing, think about trying to do that from here, okay? So I've got colors that are literally all over this wheel that have no actual bearing to what the final product's going to be. And then my job, which should normally be <laughs> to determine uh, how, you know, uh, how much contrast there is between my colors. It's like, all right, I'm going to pick a red and I'm going to go here. Well, this, this red is, is being compared to a bunch of random colors a random contrast that has again no bearing on what the final product is going to be so it's tough to choose colors relative to each other which you should always be doing when you don't have a starting point you don't have a you really don't have a blank canvas you don't have a foundation to build your palette on you just have colors okay so i beat that dead horse point to death i'm going to undo all of this and explain now so if i know my base color for example starts you know with this desaturated orange then i am i can be very very precise in knowing all right this red is that in comparison to that you know this yellow is this in comparison to that orange this background is here compared to that orange. you know um i've got a i've got a base to start from you know, so if I've got a base that starts here, then all the colors that I'm choosing can be relative to that point. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. And where is, sorry, I, gotta, I just need to open up this reference and leave it open. Because <laughs> I keep accidentally, uh, there we go. That and that. Sorry I was late, but I'm here. Hi, beautiful people. 
Awesome. Why did your color wheel seem to have a bluish tint from certain levels? Uh, because your monitor is poorly calibrated. <laughs> no, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't. And, and if it does, then I was serious. <laughs> then I meant that, yeah. Probably is why. <laughs> no, it's it's like uh this 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 thing is pixel perfect. Uh, if you search for like James Gurney gamut mass color wheel from Deviant Art or something, you'll you'll find it. It's in the description of a bunch of my videos too. got a couple of pages of reference from the book for the character over here a lot of people I often get asked about how I'd know about what color things are or whatever um, if I don't know the character well they'll usually let you know <laughs> morning Kurt. hey all hey how's it going good way to find out you need to calibrate <laughs> it's true yeah and well the thing too that you i don't know if i do this is here's, here's your, your own coloring lesson here if i do this like this gray feels cooler than the rest of the of the wheel because the rest of the wheel is warm so the gray, we're getting cooler as we go toward the center, right? But if I flip this, and especially the yellow makes this a little bit harder because yellow feels very warm, but uh, the cool colors will make the center feel warmer. So that's not confusing or anything. <laughs> No, uh, but yeah, if, if you think in terms of like direction with with uh, temperature, that's kind of how I think about it. It doesn't have to go all the way to warm if it just leans warm or whatever. Oh, there's so many little stickers on this thing, I'm realizing. I got to do all those too. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It looks gray. I don't know why I said bluish. Well, well because it, it, it will appear blue if it's surrounded by red. Very often it will. All right. We got our guy. I guess let's start. What do I want to do next? Um, actually, I want to make another window real quick. And we're going to set that over here. So maybe I will not... Uh, I will still zoom in out, zoom in and out a bunch because I do it all the time. But hopefully this uh, cuts down on that a little bit. That means gray aliens are actually blue. Well, 
maybe not. It depends. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's... Uh, I'm thinking. I guess I'll go ahead and let's just shift all these black colors around. And uh, so my intention is the uh, the background will. Uh, you go a lot of ways with this because it's not like you're gonna you need to do much to get that guy to come forward <laughs> it's all gonna work uh yeah we'll see but well i'm thinking about using just a lot of uh I guess we could go de really desaturated on them, or we could probably even just go really saturated because the thing is, like, it doesn't really matter with the posters because you're creating a pattern either way. <laughs> like, if you go really desaturated, then the guy comes forward because he's more saturated and darker. Uh, if you saturate everything in the background more fully, you've still just got a pattern of saturated colors, and you can use less saturated colors on him, which he... You know his body already is uh so either one of those will work i'm sure i'll change my mind several times before this is over <laughs> about what i want this to look like <coughs> excuse me Now, the one thing that uh, you don't want to do when you have uh, two planes that are meant to be different planes is to put them on the same color. Uh, and so I'm changing the color of this desk uh, just to bring it out some. Because if I had uh, used the same value as the wall, then it would all just seem to be one wall. You know what I mean? You completely lose the sense that he's behind a desk, you know? And so there's a little bit of depth to be created there. That's why we're doing that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do all the big elements and then we'll get into all the posters. I don't think this will take very long to render. I don't think it's gonna take very long at all. Because he's he's done most of it, <laughs> like, like what what am I gonna render on you know? There's no need. So so much of this stuff is done. So it's gonna be very. It's not gonna be flat, but it'll be simple. Um, with a few uh, some highlights thrown around, and that'll probably do it. Uh, you guys have questions about the process at any point feel free to ask otherwise i'll just uh i'll ramble on here and this guy is blonde and this shirt is blue Uh, this reminds me of something I want to talk about real quick. Um, I had somebody, I, I've been asking around lately for, uh, ideas about, uh, what you guys want to see in videos, since I'm such a terrible judge of what you want to see in videos. Uh, so, uh, I've been asking and, uh, someone asked, uh, uh sorry, I'm getting, trying to get rid of the, uh, spam in here. You guys always come to my stream for uh for to 
to, to pick up hot young dates, right? That's why you're all here. <laughs> yeah. Local ladies in your area want to find you in my stream. Uh, did you choose the hue and saturation window to not have colors on to show what you are choosing, or is that a CSP default? What did you choose the hue and saturation to not have colors on? I don't know what that means. Can you show us uh, how your magic wand is set? So many variables in uh, CSP. Go watch my video on, uh, not right now, but uh, no, <laughs> Go, I've got a video that explains it better than I can stop and explain it right now. Um, but um, but yeah, if you look up, um, I don't know, Clip Studio on my channel, you'll, you'll find it. Uh, like there's, there's a couple of them. Um, let's see. I just want to sell you a car warranty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on PSD, when you open, you can see the colors. Oh yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I never, I never use those anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I'm looking on the canvas, just the canvas. Yeah, and I think um, let's start at posters. There's a lot of posters. Or these stickers, <laughs> one or the other. Trained eye? No, it has nothing to do with trained eye. I just, uh, I don't have a, if I've got a color on the canvas, I don't, I just don't need to see it anywhere else. So I have a brush. That I think this is it. Yeah. So this brush is really great for random things. Uh, because every time you put a new stroke down, it changes the color. And so uh, you never and especially for something like this, where I don't really care what <laughs> what color this stuff is, um, you know, as long as it looks cool. And uh, whoops! And so if you ever um, need a brush that does this, it's very handy. You just you just set the 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 hue. Uh, to uh what do you call it I, I, I can't talk today randomize per stroke is what they call that and you can adjust it so right now i've got it's the hue set to 180 which which basically means like it's gonna jump all over the place for the, the color wheel like these are measured in degrees basically just set that really high it's gonna jump all over the place um the saturation is not changing very much. It's only changing like 16% or whatever. And so every stroke, the saturation is not changing very much. So I can, you know, control for that. Same thing with, um, sorry. Jeez. Uh, the same thing with luminosity. Um, I don't want to be like, I don't want values jumping everywhere. So I've got that set really low. And then it blends with, this, with the color below slightly. So, uh, all that just means that it gives us lots of, uh, easy options for, uh, doing a bunch of colors very, very quickly. And if I ever want to change, like, oh, I want a bright value, just make it a bright value and it'll go through a bunch of bright values. There's a, there's a pro tip for you.
I would like to know how to paint explosions from scratch. Man, I just, I literally last week did a video on exploding plane engines. It's two minutes long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know if you want a full video, I have to do that later. I haven't got to one of those yet. I'm going to have that, going to have to use that randomized color thing a lot here in a bit. Doing a story set in a library, tons of books. That is exactly where that thing came from. Uh, Tamara Bon Villain uh, was the uh, was the first colorist I think to ever tell me about one of those things, and uh, I thought it was. I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Why haven't I been doing that? <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really really handy. Uh, and sometimes you don't want random colors, so you go back to your other brush. Yeah, this one's going to be like, what do you call it? Um, a whole bunch of uh, flatting. That's going to take a while. Not flatting, but cheat the base, the base colors is going to take a little while. The rendering, I don't think it's going to take very long at all. At least I don't think so. All right, where... Give me a second here. Second Rocket is uh, the studio that I just joined. It's a, like a virtual studio with uh, with Tim Daniel and a couple other uh, very cool comics makers, including Adam, which is probably why we have this sticker in here. <laughs> Might as well get the color right. Virtual studio, what is that? Uh, it's just, I mean, that's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's actually, I mean, it's basically just, uh, we're, it's a collection of artists and creators and editors and writers and, and uh, that, um, are, uh, you know, helping each other and, uh, with ideas and, and, uh, helping to find each other work and just trying to, uh, be a, a solution for people that are, there's a lot of people that will want to get into comics and they need consulting or they need help or they don't know what's going on. And so, um, that is, uh, one way that, uh, you can do that. That sounds really cool. I think it's really cool too. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Um, really just getting started. So uh, other than, uh, this is actually, this is one of my first, uh, like, uh, what would you call it? Uh, for just first projects. So I'm excited. All righty. So, right, the, the other thing I'm just, to be clear, if anybody's just joining, um, there are not a lot of value differences at all in this canvas right now. Like, just, that's intentional. We haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> but uh, that, that, why is my... Sorry. Um... But yeah, we'll play around with, I'll get the values and lighting and all that stuff we'll do a little bit later. Um, I'm just trying to get all the colors in there first. And 
I got a page for reference for all of these. So there's a couple of these covers that we know what color they are. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do those. And then, uh, then we'll worry about lighting the rest of the stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, these colors sure are weird. Yeah, it's the wrong brush. <laughs> oh, it, was the, 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 it was the hue brush again. Sorry about that. I'm like, that, is that the color I picked? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right either. Neither is that. What am I doing? I've lost my mind. <laughs> that would be a great way to screw with somebody just if you want to mess with them like go into their favorite brush and clip and just set the hue jitter to something else that would be evil so evil don't do that <laughs> Uh, I did have a question. I was wondering if you could make a video on the different types of layers and more in-depth video on flatting than selecting and the selecting and saving those selections. Different types of layers. I think I've done, I think I've done a video or two on that and more in-depth on flatting, like selecting and saving. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I've done... I, f I feel like that flatting video... Well, it's old, but I probably do make a new one. And there's uh, yeah, and there's definitely more I could do with selections. I, I do intend to, to discuss selections soon. There's a lot of selection tricks people aren't aware of. Because they watch on my stream, they're like, how did you do this? Your thing did this on its own. I'm like, no, I just... You know, there's a lot of that. <laughs> Value is uh, saturation. No, value is uh, how lightened the relative lightness or darkness of something, technically. All right, what else do we have here? Give me a second. We got. Sorry, I'm looking at some reference over here. Wrong layer. Where is that poster? Right here. The magic saucepan. I, I, I guess this is a real movie. <laughs> Wacky. This one, if you're just joining, uh, there's a couple of these posters that are all, uh, mm, there's a couple of these posters that are actually real, is what I was trying to say. And, um, so I'm getting all of those colors in here first. And let's see, what else is in here? Oh, you know what? There's a couple of these stickers. Oh, I haven't done any of those yet. But yeah, there's a couple of these stickers that uh, 
are also specific <laughs> I need to do. Where are we at? All right, here. I think that's all the posters, and there's a couple of stickers. That we need to get right, it looks like. Actually, let's do that, that, and that. Like that. Is that right? Nope. That. I don't know if this is going to work with the values in this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, we'll just tint it red a little bit. And what else? Cape and Cowl. This is a podcast, isn't it? I think. Sounds right. It's something. Lovely. Oh, got some tape. And in case you're wondering, there's some of you guys surely that are like, well, well, don't all these colors, saturated colors or stickers, these things, how do you, I mean, how does it affect the color theory? It doesn't matter. They're all so small, it doesn't matter. Like on the actual, um, like the size versus the rest of the canvas, you know, these little bits of color really aren't gonna make any difference at all. Not, not from the big, big picture story standpoint. They're not anyway. getting there <laughs> slowly but surely yeah we're gonna i'm gonna definitely i think i want to make that top brighter especially with a black uh title all right what else have we not done we got what is this uh we got some books or vhs or something what is this <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Good. I don't put a lot of details in this cover. Yes, he did. That he did. I'll just keep choosing until I find one that I like. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. Damn nice cover. I concur. I concur. All right. 
right. So the rest of these posters are, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're based on anything or they're just out of nowhere. But uh, we're gonna do those next. And these are all easily adjustable after the fact, so I'm I'm not worrying about this too awful much at the beginning I would rather just get some colors in here and shift them around because that's what's going to take <laughs> the longest time uh, we can always make decisions later <laughs> at least that's how I how I think about it but I sort I, I do want to kind of uh you do want to make sure that's like distributed, you know, like you don't want to have like a chunk of all green posters or, or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm sort of trying to, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Sometimes it's faster to just pick everything else around something. Not my flatter duplicated something, but that didn't work. Let's see. There we go. It's more about just having stuff in here. It doesn't matter a whole lot. The specifics of what's going on in here, as long as it just looks like there's something going on in here. <laughs> oh, that's right next to his face. I'm gonna take all that away. <laughs> I just realized how close it was to his head. I don't want to do a whole lot of distracting value stuff right around his head. Uh, so we'll keep that simple. Did I ever think? I'd primarily be a colorist, or did you first want to be an artist? Share your journey? This would be a good time for that while I'm just r randomly doing this. Um, some of you guys have heard of this before. So I don't, I don't know if, you, uh, is it anybody? I don't know if, does anybody else want to hear that? <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. Thank you for your uh, subscription by this uh, membership, by the way, Teddy. Um, no, um, I, so I started drawing when I was born. All right, first, let me just back up. Um, I, 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 since I was, since I could hold something to draw with, um, I have been drawing. And when I was younger, uh, I did want to draw comics. I thought, surely I'm good enough for that. So I'm like 18 you know, uh, thinking I'm, you know, Jim Lee, basically. And um, not really, <laughs> maybe half Jim Lee. Um, and so I applied for some stuff. I actually have my letters. I I'm probably one of the last generation to get an actual letter from Marvel and DC. But um, I did get um, a letter from them with feedback like work on anatomy work on your storytelling you don't you're not good you know it was nice but um uh, you know i wasn't ready for that there's no way and uh but i didn't really start it, so that was i was like i don't know 16 17 probably when i submitted those and and then like after that i'm like you know I, I, it was never like a serious consideration that I'm like, oh, I can do this for a living, you know? Um, 
so I really didn't worry about it very much at all and just sort of it stayed it stayed a hobby you know and um it wasn't until uh so like 2012 um I really just kind of got out of art for a while um and so like 2012 I am close to graduating uh nursing school <laughs> and uh I skipped over a whole lot of stuff in there uh, and IT and retail and everything else but um I guess it was yeah, so 2012, I, I, I graduate nursing school. I, I take a job at night. I'm working a night shift at the hospital. And um, I really like that. I, li I liked, uh, I kind of liked the vampire thing, like <laughs> staying up, up at night. And uh, I really had a lot of time on my hands. And then that December, right before I graduated, uh, my best friend died very suddenly and unexpectedly. And uh, all of a sudden, I had a tremendous amount of time on my hands that I did not have before. Because we hung out a lot. We played video games. We were, he was like my brother. Uh, closer, I have brothers. <laughs> He's like, I was closer to him than my actual brothers. Um, no offense to brothers. Uh, but I just... I was lost. I was like, I don't, I didn't know what to do with myself. And so I'm up all night, <laughs> you know, uh, and I, and I, and I kept my schedule, uh, the, the same sleep schedule, even if I wasn't, uh, working because I had some, I had some people that didn't do that. That were like, they flip flop back and forth. They're like, Oh, my kids are in school. I got to be up for like, I didn't have any of that. And, um, so I just kept the same schedule and, uh, just, realize that I'm like, I need, I could be productive. I could do something <laughs> interesting instead of, uh, you know, uh, playing video games all night. And I was drawing a little bit at the time or whatever, but, uh, but I, I knew I would not have time to draw a book and work full time. Um, and so once I realized that coloring was a thing, which I really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to coloring when I was younger. Uh, I didn't realize it was a, it was a separate job until, you know, probably I was an adult. Make that red pop with green. But, uh, so yeah, I just got on Facebook, I think, back when it was useful. Um, it's not now, don't worry. Um, and I found a group that, uh, was really into comics. They were, like, in, in making indie, indie books, and they really made comics, though. They didn't talk about it. They didn't, like claim to want to do it and and not <laughs> uh it just they were they just hustled man like they hustled hard and i and I, I really appreciated that and i learned a lot about comic making from this little facebook group but it was uh that was kind of my intro and uh i was terrible when i started i had no idea what i was doing when i started but figured figured it out eventually I think <laughs> so one thing leads to another blah 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 you're coloring full time that's a super condensed <laughs> version of that story but yeah there you go But it was never like, oh, I can't make it as an artist. Let me color. Like that was that wasn't. It wasn't really it. I I think I could have. Well, I know I could have. I, I, if I just stuck with 
trying to draw uh especially if i had done my own thing i i, I think I, I, I at the time no i probably couldn't have but now i'm like and i'm ready to do my own book and i just got to find uh i got to figure out the logistics of that but that's uh, that that will be starting next year finally <laughs> so there you go sounds a bit like my journey thanks for sharing honestly first saw the colorist profession from you on youtube yeah it's it's wild man like my whole youtube channel was always just meant to be like here's what i'm doing here's what i figured out and if i'd have known 10 years almost well not 10 years eight years nine years down the line that people would still be going yeah here's here's how to flat <laughs> and i'm just like does that guy know what he's doing but yeah I guess it's a good thing I don't have too many horrible habits or anything in my videos because like there would be an entire like generation of 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 of, of new colorists that just happen to learn from me. Do you have assistants working under you? Uh, I have uh, a, I have a flatter that uh, works for me. Is that all the posters? Oh, we got these down here. Um, but no, I, I do have someone. Someone does this stage. I don't select all this stuff. <laughs> Uh, but no, someone goes in, makes all the selections, separates all that out. Uh, the colors don't mean anything, but it allows the magic wand to make those selections. So otherwise, you guys would see me just tracing this stuff for hours. And who wants to do that? <laughs> And I'm also like, like I'm intensifying a lot of these colors in a way, knowing that they're going to kind of get, uh, chilled out a little bit later. So that's always, you can always dial it back. Um, there was a couple of years ago that like i i just i just shifted my thinking on that completely after i was talking to uh uh frank martin who's an amazing amazing colorist and uh i was talking with him and he was just like you just need to be bolder that was his advice after looking at my portfolio just be bolder i'm like oh <laughs> and so i started uh um just I, I just changed my thinking from it used to be like let me try something and i'll crank it up later when it needs it and it doesn't it didn't work for me as well as like let me crank it up as high as it'll go to the point of it's too far and then bring it back <laughs> just a little bit and that just uh that totally changed my uh my mindset I love this dog. I want a book about this dog. <laughs> this dog with human hands. What is, what is this? It's so funny. Uh, 
I'm curious what you can do as outside of your coloring skills. Draw, paint, all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's a nice way of saying, is this it? <laughs> is there, this is what you're doing? No, I'm kidding. I read that dog's title, whatever it is, whatever he's doing. Fluff seen the puppy. Revenge of the path pacifist. Yeah. Yeah, there's some funny stuff in here. What color have I not? Green. I don't know. I'll put it in there and then shift it around. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Yeah, we're about to get into the fun stuff. As coloring goes, this is about as less interesting as it gets to me. <laughs> it's just this part. All right. Uh, let's see. Is that all the posters? <laughs> we got all these dang posters. Nope, there's one over here. Couple over here. And one in here. They keep multiplying, I swear. Okay, I'm not going to worry about these in the shadows over there. They can stay in the shadows. Where are we at? An hour. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break now that we've got all the base colors in. And uh, and then we're going to start... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, doing all the lights and shadows and whatnot. And as much as I, he's got red gloves. I think they're red, but they're in front of a, they're in front of two red posters. <laughs> and I, I just, uh, just don't think I'm going to do it. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be forgiven. But, um, all right, so we've got all our base colors in. I'm going to take a quick break, just a second or two, to uh, refresh my uh, drink. And... After these messages, we'll be right back. Let's see.
All right, all right, all right. All right, check on one, two. I'm back. How do I get work? Um, at this point, I've, just, I've been doing it long enough that um, people find me. It's great. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry to to set off the nostalgia uh, bomb there. That was you're, you're thinking about. It was an old uh, on Saturday morning cartoons. Though this guy in the cowboy hat would come out in between, he'd go after these. He'd do the whole bit. It was like stop motion or something. But yeah, that and or maybe it wasn't stop motion. Maybe it was a cartoon. I can't remember. <laughs> but the vibe was conjunction junction. Yeah. All right, so let's get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up this background, I think. So how do I want to do this? Let's just select everything and start deselecting. Did I make a selection for this? I don't think I did. I will. <laughs> so I don't have to do this part again. If you're wondering why it keeps turning red, I'm just using the quick mask to check the selection because it's easier to see to me than than the uh, uh, just the, the lines themselves. Oops. I'm basically just trying to get a clean selection of the wall, <laughs> but it's going to take a second here. Actually, did I do that the opposite of what I meant to do? Yeah, I did. There we go. All right. Is that everybody? Nope. Right over there. Is that the back wall? Nope. Right there. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, these things aren't part of it. Get rid of that. that there all right i'm gonna actually go in the bottom here and fill this with the color i'm gonna call this uh back wall selection so the next time that i need to grab that wall i can just control click that layer and now the whole wall is selected. Because I'm probably going to do this a bunch. <laughs> I'm also going to lock that so I don't accidentally get rid of it or something. So, um, let's see. I want to try something first here. Give me a second. I'm making a levels adjustment. How much brighter do we have here? Oh, we can get a lot brighter. And about there. I think I want this to lean. 
Let's see, there's blue to yellow. I want this to lean a little warm. Or do I want it cool? Mm, I don't know. I guess it really matters. Mm, underlying layer is not dark enough, I don't think. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to actually darken this, I think, a little bit first. And is that a little bit better? Where is my... Oops, whoops, lost the chat. Is the ceiling drawing or Photoshop? Mm, I don't know. Probably drawing. Looks like it's drawing to me. Let's see. I don't think. Give me a second here. I'm experimenting. <laughs> Trying to decide if I want. Um... Sorry, trying to figure out how bright I want to make this. I think right about there. Sorry, I'm doing more thinking than talking at the moment. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, you know it can be drawn in Photoshop. It's not mutually exclusive. Digital drawing is drawing. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I wasn't going to get into all that, but yeah. <laughs> That's like when people ask me, they're like, do you draw by hand, freehand, or digitally? <laughs> I'm like, freehand, digitally. Now what? Uh, I'm trying to get his, uh, so right now the silhouette of his arm is not particularly coming forward there. So I'm trying to pull that out a little bit. And that did, that helped a ton. <clears throat> Excuse me. To some people, drawing digitally is how AI, AI art works now. Yeah. I was happy to see that, um, what do you call it? Uh, our, our friends at Clip have decided against 
um, <laughs> integrating the art destroying technology. Uh, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> I I don't think that Clip Studio or Celsius, I guess, is technically the name, the, the company that, that, that makes it. Uh, I don't think they have a clue what we want. Not even a little bit. I don't think they have any idea what people want. That, that's what I'm learning from Celsius lately. Just no clue. pigments and cave walls or nothing yeah exactly yeah if you if you didn't uh if you didn't know uh they had announced that they were integrating some kind of ai something i don't even really see what it was but people revolted <laughs> pretty quickly and um what what's amazing to me is um you know they're they're over 2 this year right or in the last 6 months or so <laughs> it's like first it's like hey everybody you all like subscriptions huh <laughs> and it's like no hey guys you guys really like ai huh no okay so like Celsius, your PR team, if, uh, you know, whoever. I'm here, man. Just call. I'll tell you. It's terrible. <laughs> anyway. Rant off. We need validation AI. I, I think that's what's like, we're just not quite caught up yet, but that's where it's all going, right? Is like, we'll have bots to tell us whether or not that something is, you know, is was made by a bot or not, or was deep faked or whatever. We'll have to have robots to that we can trust to tell us whether or not the robots are doing stuff. Yeah, I'm sure this will all work out great. <laughs> Your mother's a narcissist, she'll take what you can get. <laughs> There'll be no validation here. In fact, the robot's doing a better job than you, Dave. No, nah, I'm kidding.
I was so like kind of overly careful about all of these like posters, you know, uh, not standing out that they're all kind of neutral in a way that I can kind of bump up now. <laughs> so that's why, uh, you're seeing the values and stuff shift a little bit more now. Um, and this is all, um, this is all on a, uh, I'm just doing, I'm really just brightening and, uh, like tinting, uh, these things a little bit. And, uh, whoops. So it saves a lot of time in having to pick a bunch of colors and whatnot. Especially when you want your light to just be tinted slightly. Levels adjustments work really great for that. I want to render this dog out to like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> I love the dog. Cancel the book. I want the dog. No, I'm kidding. Don't cancel the book. You could wake up your artwork, change the AI left notes. Yeah. Who knows, man? <laughs> I, I feel like with the AI stuff, I don't even remember the character's name from Aliens, where the guy's just like, we're screwed, man, we're screwed, it's over, man, it's over. Like, that guy, I feel like that's Twitter when it comes to art AI right now. And probably rightfully so. I, I can't even, like, who, who knows? Who knows what we'll be uh, working with in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, it's game over, man, game over. That's right. Hudson. Good movie. I watched that again the other day. I don't think you can ever lose with Alien. Well, actually, the real reason, uh, other than I do like this dog, the other reason uh, is that he's kind of big on the page, and so I don't want it to be, like, just totally flat. Fluff CPI, yeah. Oh, I saw, um, did I say, uh, have I seen you guys since I saw the menu? Have you guys, uh, uh, the, the menu, uh, uh, movie that just came out, um, with Ray Fiennes and, uh, Anna Taylor Joy? Is that Anna jo Joy Taylor? I don't, I never remember her name. But anyway, uh, entertaining movie. Uh, it was not, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not anything at all like what I was expecting. Um, really enjoyed that. It's weird. Like it's, I, I just, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes weirds, weirds all right. All right, moving on. 
she did a good Ilana. Where did she play? You talking about magic? Does she play magic? Is that who that is? I haven't seen New Mutants. Is that any good? Yeah, I like her. I mean, I need to check it out. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Rosie the Reveter had a yellow background in it, I think. I think so. I liked it more than everyone else on Earth, it seems. I, I just, I don't, I, I don't have any, I don't know anything about New Mutants, like the book or the characters. And it just didn't, I don't know, it, it, the, the trailer didn't grab me, you know? This is so ASMR, so I don't know what it means, but really calming watching you color. I think ASMR is, is like an audio thing, right? That would be like if, um, and now we go to the layer window. We're going to set the blending mode to color dodge. Just, can you imagine? <clears throat> All right, how are we doing here? We got all of that done. And... Then everything but the dude. So we'll do the dude. Sounds like Bob Ross. KMR ASMR. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking my reference again. Is that blood? It is blood. I thought those were... Are those... I don't know if that's supposed to be holes in his shirt or if that's blood. I think it might be blood. I think so. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. If it's not, we'll fix it. And yes, his eyes are actually glowing, and his mask is glowing. All of this is glowing. So, on top of the lines, do, 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 do. Let 
I'm just using a soft airbrush. I'm actually going to go ahead and look at the CMYK preview on this because these reds are... Red's weird. Red is weird. If you want to make it look like it's glowing from the inside, then we'll make some brighter stuff in here. I don't know if this, uh, this, this glows also. Where'd my chat go? Uh, let's see. That one... Oh, hey, Adam. Hey, everyone. Uh, this looks unreal. Uh, I've been listening, but running around your three-year-old. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks for watching, dude. I appreciate it. Um, the only thing that... Uh, and we're getting close to being done with this, anyway. Um, I thought about... And you tell me, now that you're here... Uh, and yes, it is a fantastic cover. Um, should the guy in the front be in shadow? Like, or should it, I mean, not always completely in shadow. I can still light him up. But like, obviously we want him to show up. We don't want him to be like too dark. But I, I am going to, I'm going to try something with the shadows and I might not use it. Cause I do like he's coming forward really well right now, and I don't want to I don't want to mess it up too much. But I want to try this, and then we'll we'll see. Uh, if you don't try, you'll never know if it's gonna work. <laughs> so, uh, not out yet. March, I had trouble with that too. Uh, I had him real dark first. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put an uh, a shadow over the top that kind of matches. The, uh, let me get on top of everything. And again, kind of overdo it. And we can saturate that some. We can tilt the color around a little bit. And then put a mask on that. And paint it away. And if it sounds like I'm asking this as a question, it's because I am. I don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> I, 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 this is very quick, just to see. Uh, something like that, but I don't know. I think I like that. This is your dog. So that's excellent. So you heard just how much I love the dog. <laughs> we just, we want a full fluffy uh, mini series. No, actually just make it a hardback, uh, 84 pages minimum. And uh, just, just get on that Adam. I don't know what the holdup is. The nasty book. Just make the dog book. No, I'm kidding. No, this is great, man. I really like this cover. And I don't like the shadow thing that I did, I don't think. So, I'm going to lose it. Uh, or at least lose it the way I did it. I guess I could have just deleted that all. 
but he fits really well. I'm, I'm going to put some shadows on him. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I like, I like, I like how he comes forward against what's underneath. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a comic book. So, you know, it doesn't have to be uber realistic. And I'm really not trying to mess with the values that are here too much. There's a lot of good values going on just in the uh, in the art. Gotta go, kids <laughs> making noise. Yeah. All right. Fun stuff. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do. is brighten some of these stickers that I made too dark. <laughs> and I'm just going to do, I think I'm going to zoom up quite a bit and do like one detail pass i'm gonna call it i'm just gonna duplicate this other layer and delete that and put a mask back on it and try to match adam's detail level here thanks adam <laughs> um I don't know. Uh, what do you call it? Um, to me, that's the that, that's something that I, I think a lot of. I, I've gotten that question quite a bit lately. Of like, how do you know uh, what to detail or how much detail to put where, whatever? Like, don't forget. Like, look at the art. Like so, so much of the art will give you indications. It's like, look at the detail level on his mask versus the detail level on like that guy's head. Okay. That's a clue <laughs> that you shouldn't really worry about spending too much time on that guy. Like, um, you know, pick your battles. Just pick your battles. You can't, if you detail everything, then nothing's detailed. You know what I mean? If everyone's super. Yeah, I'm just, right now, I'm, I'm uh, I just don't want there to be too much just flat, clean stuff. Um, there's there's kind of texture everywhere. Whoops. And uh, so I don't want to. I don't want there to be any like uh, super flat areas of color. Trying to make this look a little like slick. So, uh, let's see. 
I haven't done anything to the ceiling, but I don't think it needs much. Um, I kind of like how it looks. Yeah, so there's... And, and, and just real quick, I, I wanted to kind of run you guys through another idea uh, that um, you might not have considered. Uh, when, whenever you're trying to decide about, like, when, I, when I, I posted about ideas for some tutorials and stuff coming up, and a lot of people were asking about, you know, applying basic color theory, limited palettes, contrast like a lot of the questions were like the same stuff uh the blood on his shirt should be ribs okay i'll fix that um but um i think we tend to sort of oversimplify that a little bit um or overcomplicate that a little bit i guess i should say um so imagine like in this case for this cover like what makes this stand out on the shelf is going to be like, obviously, like we've got the guy's a big block of, of ink right in the middle. He's very dark. Um, you know, his silhouette is dark. The background is very light. Like, I mean, honestly, at its most basic, like that's what's going to make people see this cover from across the room. It has nothing to do with the detail level. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just what's going to grab somebody from 10 or 15 feet away. So you want a lot of contrast there, but that's just sort of like your level one contrast. All right. So level two, we get a little closer and we've got, if you'll notice everything below this point, uh, I will, uh, exaggerate this. So all of this is orange. I kind of like how this looks. <laughs> um, the rest of it is cool. Except for that, right? His head, right? So once you get into your big shapes, there's still stuff you want to separate and you just have to find a different way of separating it. You know what I mean? Uh, I am going to use this overlay layer a little bit here because I that was one of those patented happy accidents. Uh, let's. I want to do this. Let's invert that. Let's remove this. And I don't want to again. I don't want to like overpower this whole thing. But if we sort of uh, dab at it a little bit maybe and it's not too crazy so I'm just I'm just pushing that difference even more so I've got a plane in the front for this uh, you know front desk situation and then everything else behind it's cool and we could Let me see here. Hold on. I'm going to try something again. I just want to see if I like it or not. The only thing that I don't like about what I did here is that... I feel like I have minimized, where is that color coming from? I think I have minimized the power of this guy's cast shadow a little too much. Because I made the monster's cast shadow, I mean. Um, it's about as dark as like this stuff over here. And so I'm gonna brighten this, because I do like that cast shadow, I think it looks good.
and uh, and yeah, it's just tinted a little bit blue along the bottom because again, I I I, I, I we're gonna beat this horse to death until everybody's an expert. <laughs> but uh, where's my color wheel? So before my foreground was kind of living in this range, right? The close foreground. It was like RNG, whatever. Foreground. So before, the background was closer to gray, leaning a little cool. And so that is what creates the contrast with the foreground. So by me taking an overlay layer and effectively just tinting the, the, the background slightly toward blue, I'm just, imagine this is a rubber band of tension, right? So now my rubber band's being pulled a little bit further. So I'm increasing the contrast along this uh, this edge here. But just pulling that band out, increasing the tension on it. Make sense? All right. I'm doing more staring at it than working. So that's usually a good a good sign that we're coming we're coming toward the end. Blending some of this stroke down a little bit. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello from Brazil. I love to draw. Your arts are fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, Vladimir. Appreciate it. All right. So any uh, any questions, uh, comments, anything uh, uh, you guys have about this uh, particular piece? Or anything else for that matter? <laughs> going once uh, I will turn this in without the title by the way in case anybody's noticing because you don't want to send them a flat picture with a title on it because they might want to tweak it and slide it or whatever they might want to do something so I'll when I finalize this I'm going to send it like this this looks amazing is there anything just on first blush that you're like oh I really hate the way he did that I mean, I'll send you the full file and you can look over it and give me all that. But while I'm here, is there anything that uh, you want uh, uh, adjusted? Sorry, I just realized I meant to color this a little bit. No, man. Uh, thank uh, You brought so much out of this. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate it. I mean... You, uh, you set me up. Uh, you set me up well. <laughs> Why is this not 
Sorry, I'm I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Why is this not wanting to color? Let's just put it on top then. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just a little bit of brightness. There we go. Can't read this sticker very well either. <laughs> yeah, look through all these stickers. Make sure that there's anything that's supposed to be like a different thing or something. Um, but yeah, this is this is a really fun piece, man. Like I, I really enjoy working on this. Um, tons and tons of little details and really fun. Awesome stream, educational, excellent, excellent. All right, yeah, I, I do think, uh, I do think I'm about done here. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, I've got courses on how to do this if you if you want a more step by step sort of uh, situation, um, and uh, they're in the description. I got Patreon down there. I got you can become a YouTube member and get a little symbol by your name. Uh, and uh, get all my old streams uh, if you want to look through them. And, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching today. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.